everybody on YouTube, it's me, the Student Witch. Um, before diving into the main topic for this video, I just want to give this little warning. Um, I'm not a medical professional in any way. I've never received formal training in either uh, modern Western medicine or herbal medicine or naturopathy or holistic medicine or anything like that. This is just based on my own independent research and please before ingesting any herbal infusions or trying to use herbs for your own health and maintenance and well-being, do your research, compare your sources, don't just take my word for it. I'm enjoying some delicious Tension Tamer. This is one of my favorite teas by Celestial Seasonings. And the image, I was just thinking how the image reminds me of uh, the strength card in the Rider Waite Tarot. You know, the woman with the lion, or in this case, the woman with the dragon uh, at ease in control of the situation. So, making some Tension Tamer. Now, um,. For women out there, and in general, human beings, people who menstruate, <laughs> who um, have uteruses, or uteri, is that the plural of uterus? I don't know. Who have wombs, and who menstruate from time to time. Uh, you're probably familiar with these teas. This is the Yogi brand Woman's Moon Cycle Tea, which uh, I really like, as well as Raspberry Leaf tea, which has been used for a long time by many cultures to um, ease the pains and flow of menstruation. Um, well, recently I've been getting into formulating my own herbal teas and infusions, and this is my recipe and the reasons why I included the herbs that I did. Um, so this is my big old jar of all this mixed up my women's reproductive blend and I drink this um, or I try to drink it every morning um, not only when I am menstruating but at other times in my cycle as well it has red clover blossoms raspberry leaf nettles dandelion root rose hips licorice root chamomile and mint um, and these are just all dried herbs that I get at my local um, natural health foods kind of store. Um, you can also order them at mountainroseherbs.com and other sites. Um, they're all organic, pesticide free, and healthy and whatnot. So, um, let me look at my notes and explain why I've included these ingredients. Um, first of all, red clover red clover and this is again according to my research please do your own research but red clover is beneficial to both men and women but especially with women it can help regular ingestion of red clover uh, herbal infusion or tea can help protect against um, certain types of cancers especially breast cancer we live in a world of plastics and chemicals like flame retardants in our furniture and in our carpeting, um, plastic containers, and just all sorts of things that have these artificial estrogens in them. Um, and over time our body absorbs these artificial estrogen. Um, I think they're called long path estrogens. And it just throws our system out of whack, or it can, and it you know, over time, these estrogens are stored in fatty tissues, um, including breast tissue, and it can lead to breast cancer, or so many studies are starting to point that way. Um, I don't know if there's a consensus in the medical community about this, but I think people are starting to wake up and really take this shit seriously. <laughs> um, the rising rates of breast cancer in the West um, in the past decades, it's alarming. Anyway, so red clover blossoms have short path estrogens um, that can fill in those estrogen receptors in our glandular system. 
and kind of block the absorption of those uh, chemically long path estrogen. Um, yeah, long path estrogens. Oh, sorry, my computer's making weird noises. Hold on. Weird advertisement on YouTube. So, in addition to that, Red Clover also has a vitamin B complex, vitamin C, B1, B2, all that. Calcium, and it's a very important fertility herb. Um, it helps to balance the hormones, especially estrogen, as I was um, saying earlier. And it can help to alkalinize the body, um, kind of bringing the body's pH, um, I guess, up, up meaning more alkaline, which can help, especially if you're trying to get pregnant, but um, it can help uh, the little spermies <laughs> when you are doing the deed to make a baby. Um, but just in general, it's good for the inside of our body to be more alkaline and the outside to be more acidic. Okay, next, raspberry leaf. Raspberry leaf, like I mentioned before, I have this tea here. Um, raspberry leaf is good for the uterus, especially for menstruation. It helps to tone the muscles of the uterus. Um, I've heard of many women in the second and third trimester of their pregnancies, they'll start to drink raspberry leaf tea every day um, with the hope that it will strengthen their uterus for contractions when it's time to give birth. But it's good also um, for menstruation and toning the uterus and strengthening it uh, for that. It also has vitamin E, B1, vitamin A, and calcium. Third, nettles. Nettles are just packed full of vitamins and nutrients. Um, if you're just looking for a general nutrient boost, you can just make straight up nettle infusion. And I'll explain how to make an infusion um, at the end of the video. But, um, and of course all these vitamins and nutrients are good at any point in our cycle, or even for those who do not menstruate or who do not identify as a woman. Um, or the, probably better said, those who don't have a uterus. <laughs> um, yeah, nettles are just packed full of vitamins and nutrients and that can also help to tone and strengthen not only the uterus, but also the kidneys. So if you are worried about the strength or health of your kidneys, um, nettle infusion might be something to look into. So, vitamins D, K, C, it also has calcium, potassium, iron, silicone, copper, and sulfur. Uh, dandelion root. Dandelion root is also, a, it's another very popular um, herbal infusion or herb to take. Uh, it has B1, B2, uh, niacin, another B vitamin, vitamins E and A, calcium, potassium, iron, and silicone. And dandelion root in general is good for um, kind of internal cleansing of the organs and um, that kind of stuff. Rose hips. Rose hips, uh, I just added rose hips for their flavor. Um, and because they have more vitamins, vitamin C, E, and B2. And then chamomile and mint, I mostly added for their flavor um, because this um, it, it does have a very strong green herb kind of taste to it. So uh, the chamomile and the mint are, are good for flavor, but also, I didn't know this, but apparently chamomile has calcium and potassium and mint is just for taste mostly, although I'm sure it has some vitamins and whatnot in there. I almost forgot the licorice root. <laughs> um, licorice root has a natural sweetness to it, so um, I add it to this for flavor and you don't need a lot of it, just maybe, um, I don't know, maybe half a cup in this whole jar mixed in with all the other herbs. Um, but licorice root, it has the natural sweetness, so it kind of sweetens the herbal infusion, helps it go down easier. Um, 
but it also is good for the liver and for regulating blood sugar. So yeah, I just take a few handfuls and I put it in this large glass jar, which I got for about three or four dollars at Michael's. And I probably fill it with herbs up to here and then fill the rest up with hot water, boiling water. I let it sit for at least four hours, but you can let it sit overnight. And then after that period of sitting, um, you strain the herbs out and you put it in the refrigerator and it can last for three, four, five days. Um, so, yeah, so that's the, it, you don't steep it like a tea, because with a tea, like what I'm doing here, you just steep it for a few minutes. This is, you allow it to steep for several hours. Um, drink it every day, and hopefully uh, this is strengthening my uterus <laughs> uh, and my kidneys, and um, just pumping in more vitamins and minerals for my for my body and my cycle so this is my women's reproductive blend you can experiment with different herbs you can cater it to your specific needs um, these are just the herbs that called out to me for my specific needs and uh, yeah um, let me know if you guys also take herbal infusions or how you incorporate herbs into your diet or for health reasons. Um, it's really fascinating reading into this and discovering um, how to make your own medicine basically and vitamins. <laughs> so many blessings. Thanks for watching. Bye.